The West Midlands have a transport infrastructure problem, there is no doubt about that. It needs something like £6 billion worth of investment to get our infrastructure right and right for businesses. Not everybody deems themselves to be isolated, but the lack of transport means that sometimes they are isolated because they can't access services like somebody in an urban area. One of our biggest issues is actually people who don't have access to a car. I think there's something around about 20% of households don't have access to a car, but obviously not everybody within a household has access. We have massive issues with transport, particularly in the more affluent areas where there's pockets of deprivation and it's well hidden. With schooling in those areas, there are it's transport providers that after 16 you normally find that the transport is very limited. The role of the job centre is obviously to try and find people work, but it's a big problem, especially in rural counties, is that they don't, they don't uh, address the, the transport issue. We may have somebody who lives in an urban area, but whose employer is based in one of the outlying villages with no regular bus routes, they have difficulties, so if they lose their own transport for whatever reason, then there are issues of access to some of those employers.